Good morning, this is Robert Hill with Golden Years at Home Care. Today we're going to talk a little bit about personal home care versus nursing home care as far as pricing and everything. If you're like most Americans now, you're probably thinking, what exactly am I going to do with grandma, grandpa, or mom, or dad? Wondering if you're going to be able to get the same level of care because I know it can get hard trying to rotate shifts out as far as who's going to work and who's going to stay at home with mom or dad article will help make this decision easier for you it's going to have the most up-to-date information for you the first issue that we're going to discuss is the cost a lot of people are like am i can even build a ford at home care many believe many people believe that home care is too costly it's not really quite true it's nursing care is actually on the rise according to financial website of genworth the annual cost of private room care as far as being at a nursing home is $84,552 a year. Now, the cost of home health care on the other ones is only $41,184. So you can see it's only about half as much. So the cost is ch cheaper, but now you're thinking, okay, now that I know that the cost is cheaper, am I still getting the same level of care since I'm paying less money. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the statistics and the facts. In a nursing home facility, there are usually a large number of clients with a limited number of staff. The reason for this is that the workers at the nursing homes are usually overworked for low pay. When there are not enough staff to proficiently do the job, accidents and injuries could tend to happen because they're overworked, they're already tired, and so accidents start to happen. Some of the common injuries or signs of an understaffed nursing home are bed sores, falls, bruises, insufficient hygiene, and much more. Many licensed practical nurses or LPNs will leave the nursing home due to such ratios as one nurse to 44 clients. So that's one nurse, 44, he's got to go through, or she's got to go through and look at all of the individuals and try to make sure they're all set as opposed to as if it's at home it'll be like a one-on-one -on -one and they're always with that almost like a bodyguard but they're there to take care of it how can a client get proper care with such high ratios you're probably wondering that is on the top of an individual already being put they're already being put in a nursing home so their their environment is already unknown to them they're already kinda insecure because once you leave your home, even if you go to stay at a motel, you're kind of a little uncomfortable. Well, that's on top of the fact that they got people poking and prodding at them. Now, we're going to take a look at the personal in-home care. The first thing, which is the obvious thing, which is that they get to stay at home. So that's a plus, right? Um, at-home care allows one or more one-on-one -on -one care, I'm sorry, or even two caregivers per one client if needed which can be arranged so the level of care is actually greater than if they're in a nursing home because it's one-on-one -on -one opposed to one to forty four nurses can still come out two to three times a week for checkup they still come out and they make sure their blood sugars and everything which even actually a caregiver can do being at home gives the individual a feeling of the security and the continuity of living once somebody goes to a nursing home a lot of times they won't even, if they're in their upper cases of say dementia, Alzheimer's, whatever, maybe a lot of times they won't even actually live as long. They'll kind of give up on life. An individual can continue with their life with the help of a caregiver. Putting a loved one in a nursing home may not always be the right decision because if they're still able to get out to social outings and stuff like that with the help of a caregiver, then it's going to help prolong their life as well. Many factors can also lead to insufficient care. Always remember safety comes before all. An individual always has to think about what is best on the terms of if they would want to sit in unfamiliar surroundings with the people they do not know and that they're being poked and prodded by. It's not necessarily always what we want. It's what's best for the individual that is being taken care of. Mom or dad would still want to get out and continue with their golden years, which is much joy, compassion, and fun as possible. 
Now that's about all we have on this subject. I will go ahead and post another video within the next couple weeks. Um, we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about dementia and Alzheimer's care as well. If you do have more questions or you need more information, go ahead and feel free to contact me at goldenyearsfl at gmail.com or you can go ahead and visit my website at www.goldenyearsfl.com. If you're wondering where this information came from, uh, some of the different things is www.genwork.com. It was called Compare Cost of Care Across the United States. Um, the Effects of Nursing Home Shortages on Yahoo. And then there's Elderly Home Care, The Advantages and Disadvantages by Bob Coolhut on the web. So, and if you're wondering who I am, my name is Robert Hill, and I'm one of the I'm the vice president of Golden Years at Home Care, which we provide care to the elderly and and go out and send people out to the home. And I've worked with both personal care and nursing home care. Um, me and my wife have started this company with over 13 years experience. Um, we have been working with people. A lot of times they say, you know, I wish we had more people like you that actually cared instead of it being a paycheck. Because you got to have a really, call you really got to have a calling for a job like this. If you're just there for the paycheck, the client's gonna see that. They're gonna pick up on it right away, and it's just, I mean, they're not gonna be happy because who wants to be with somebody who doesn't even want to be there? You know, it's not just a job with us with Golden Years at Home Care. It is a calling. We strive to make sure that your family has a maximum level of service for your most affordable price. We serve all central Florida counties, Osceola, Volusia, Orange, Seminole, and uh, Brevard. So I hope this article has helped you, and may you have the best of luck on making the right decision for your loved ones. Thank you once again. God bless, and you have a good day.